This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for designing and creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today, I'm currently chilling right now. I got my drink, Calpico. I love the white peach one. This one's like my favorite and I got my eggs because we are starting the day right now. I have a lot to do today. We're gonna go and do my final project. I'm really excited because I made a little book. I think it's gonna be great. So this is the design that I'm going to print and it's pretty complicated in the sense that it took me a long time to design, but in terms of like actually printing it, it should be really fast. I wanna make a zine and these are just guidelines. They will not be there, but this is the cover. This is the back cover. And basically a zine is like a whole sheet of paper and then you fold it up to be like a tiny little magazine or little booklet or something. So that's the cover. This is the first, second, third page, fourth page, fifth and sixth page. And I wanted to make something really pink and like feminine and cutesy, kind of like Sailor Moon vibes, which is pretty similar to all of my other work. So yeah, I'm really excited to print this and I hope the screens come out well. As you can see, there's a lot of like, they're not exactly half tones, but because we learned half tones a little bit ago, I wanted to just experiment a little bit with it and just see how it comes out. So I'm pretty excited. I really love this cover. I love this cover design. This actually didn't take as long as I thought it would to design, but it took a lot of like mental power and also just overall like concentration. But the actual execution of it was surprisingly easy. I don't know how that happened, but I'm very happy about it because, you know, this could have easily taken me like three weeks, but I did it in like two days. Thank God. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to print this and I hope it goes well. Look at him, so handsome, wow. I got an email from my TA that my acetates are printed for my screen printing. We are currently doing our final project for screen printing and I made my final two screens like thick. So I only have two layers, which means I can finish the whole project like today. And I'm also gonna be trying to sell these online. So I might open pre-orders soon, but by the time this video comes out, my online shop should have been announced and opened for a while. I actually have a couple of envelopes here that I need to ship out from yesterday's orders. But yeah, it's been really fun running like a small business while in school. I haven't done this before since sophomore year and I only did it briefly, but being able to do this from school is like so fun. So I'm having a good end of my senior year. My project has actually been pushed to be due next next Monday, so not this coming Monday, but I'm just gonna get ahead of everything because I have to pack up my entire room and like move out at some point and I just have so much to do. Also, I've been doing a lot of drawing lately because I have other final projects going, so I don't know what happened, but I suddenly was like on a roll the other day and I literally cranked out three illustrations in one day and so I only have one left to do for that final. I just want to show you really quick the illustrations that I did the other day. This is the last one that I did. This is actually my favorite one. It has like it's a little man, a little tree. Um, this is from my climate change class. So it's just like illustrating about some of that. This is obviously like ocean pollution. And this was the first one that I did. I think it came out pretty cute. But yeah, it's like, wow, look at that. OMG, amazing, cute. I like it. I don't know how, but I feel like I'm more productive when I'm drawing during class than I am like outside of class because I feel like I'm doing like a two for one. Does that make sense? Like if I'm drawing for another assignment during a different class, it's like I'm taking that class, but I'm also getting my homework done at the same time. It makes sense to me. I don't know. I feel more productive, but yeah, this is how these came out. I just have one left to do, so I'll be doing that later in the week, but yeah. And then my second final is for this studio and then i think my third final i don't i don't think i even have a third final i have very few classes this semester so yeah we are almost done and i'm very excited so we're going to wrap everything up basically and i'm going to screen print my final screen print i'm excited i'm not worried you know normally i feel like i'm always like oh i don't know how it's gonna go but like i literally know exactly how it's gonna go so unless something goes wrong and i just like jinx to myself i think we should be okay i'm so excited because i put so much effort into designing the screen like literally this is like my baby very rarely do i ever make a final project that i'm able to put well actually i shouldn't say rarely i feel like it isn't following my process and you guys are gonna be like you're lying but i feel like a lot of the times what happens with my final project is i have such an ambitious idea and it never pans out the way i want it to but i feel like for this one it should because screen printing process like printing it is just like a physical labor thing but like designing it is like what counts and i feel like i lose steam a lot when i design it but i really try not to so i'm pretty confident in my design so i'm excited to go in and print it and just see what it looks like and if it goes wrong i have an extra week to fix stuff so it should it should be fine right yeah also last night i was facetiming my mom and i showed her my 
babies and she was like this is the cutest thing ever so yeah this one's my personal baby i feel like this guy is really cute i hand painted him and is a little bit janky yes but is it overall pretty cute yeah and i painted these in my last video if you're interested but like i just want to show him off again because look how glossy even though it's not perfect because i didn't use a resin coating but you know for all purposes intended of like what i had on hand i think it looks pretty cute he's got little chocolate hands my little baby he's all sold out at the sale so I'm sorry if anyone was uh, looking to have one, but they're all gone. <laughs> I made a couple of these and I was originally going to put them online if they didn't sell all of them, but um, surprisingly I sold all of them and that sale went really, really well. But I'm gonna finish eating and drinking my little drink and then we're going to go. This is a very relaxing Friday. I also had a business call earlier, um, so I have like a project that's in the works. So I'm very excited about that, but um, yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'll see you guys after. When I tell you I've never been more excited to go outside in my life, I'm not lying because it's like 73 degrees today and Rhode Island has finally caught up to it being summer. So I can finally wear cute clothes. I'm excited about my bag. So we're gonna put in, I need all of my letters I'm gonna mail out because it's Friday. So my room is still open. And then what else do I need? I think I have everything else in this bag already. I can bring my little drinky drink. This drink is literally so good. If you have not tried this, you definitely should try this because it is simply delicious. Got a little drinky drink, but it's like, it's wet with condensation. So perhaps I will just hold it. But the weather is so nice outside. I don't even think I need a jacket, but I should probably bring one like just in case, right? Let's put on some shoes. What shoes go with this fit? Do I wear the Converse or the Vans? I basically only wear the same pair of shoes every single day. I would do Vans because they're like patterned at the bottom, so that would be fun. But like, I kind of want to wear Converse just because like shorts with Converse are such a vibe, okay? I never really grew out of that phase in middle school, so I apologize. I'm so excited. I'm literally so happy, so excited. It's like 2 p.m. I really like going screen printing like during the day because I feel productive. And I feel like if I go any other time, I don't know. Something about doing things like productive early in the day makes me feel more productive than if I did the literal same things like later at night. So I don't know what it is about it, but sometimes I feel different. But yeah, let's go ahead and go. I got my sunnies. We live in the best life today, okay? Let's go and screen print. I'm excited. Little shoes of the day bag of the day yes So welcome to studio. I am so excited to be printing these and I feel like the process should be okay. These are the acetates that got printed and they're very beautiful. There's only two of them. So this is actually a pretty simple process and washing these screens out, I actually burned the screen twice because I messed up the first time and I sprayed away way too many of the tiny little dots because I wasn't sure how much I was supposed to do it, but we're gonna mix up the perfect shade of pink or as perfect as I can get it. I tried really hard and this took me a lot, a lot of effort, but I think I think the end result color came out pretty well and we're just gonna mix in a bunch of white to make it lighter so that it can be like a really pretty pastel color kind of like my shirt that's kind of the vibes i'm going for is like the colors of my shirt to be honest but we're just gonna mix all of this up really nicely and then we can get started so as you can see here's the first layer and we printed a bunch of them so now we're gonna do the second one time to mix some colors i'm mixing the darker outline color right now i'm very excited because after this layer it's gonna be done so this color has to be very good it looks pretty good so far here's all of the ones i printed for class and then i'm printing some extra ones to sell and they're like all over the studio because i don't have enough space to do all of them but yeah i'm I'm excited. We're gonna finish them up soon. So spreading the ink onto the little matte thing and then we're going to do the second layer and the final layer. So did it take me a long time? No, but did I have to print a bunch of them? Yes. So that's what ultimately took me the longest, but these are all wet and I've never had this much paint on a single sheet before. So all the paper started getting wonky, which was really, really weird, but I really liked how they came out. So now it's just cleanup time. And this is the last silk screen that I'm doing for this semester. So we have to wipe off this 
acetate and everything which I was using to kind of line up the patterns but yeah I'm really excited with how these turned out and I also want to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor which is Squarespace you guys know that I'm thinking about selling this and during the editing of this video I've officially decided that my shop update will be June 10th and so you can head to my website and check out what I've been doing I've been using Squarespace for over like a year now just designing my website and creating my online portfolio and this is something really important as an artist and I highly recommend Squarespace because they make it so easy and I was able to like match my aesthetic perfectly using all of Squarespace's assets which I really appreciate they make it so easy I'm really bad at like technology so trust me when I say Squarespace made making my own website amazing and they have their own commerce tool which is probably my favorite so I'm able to set up my own shop and I actually have it as like a separate link so you guys can check that out in the description box and they even let you sign up for a newsletter if you are an artist creating your own website so when you guys check out on my site you can also get more emails about my stuff but you can head to squarespace.com forward slash tiffany wang and use the code tiffany wang for 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain which is just so nice because they let you customize everything and i cannot thank squarespace enough for helping me set up my own shop because it was so complicated doing it but it was so worth it and you guys know that a lot of third parties will collect extra fees from you but squarespace will not be doing that and that's probably what makes them the best and they are literally my favorite and they make everything so easy and i could not say enough nice things about squarespace so thank you again for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the vlog me and my friend went up to thayer to eat lunch which i just or dinner i guess actually which i just realized i forgot to film but we got some snackies too I got these little ice cream things. I'm gonna have another one. I had one on my way walking down here, but they're so good. I'm gonna have another one. And then I got this juice. Never had this juice before, but we're gonna go to the mall real quick because I saw some shirts from H&M the other day that I wanted to try to get, but the shipping online was like $6 and the shirts themselves were like $5. So I was like, I'm gonna just go there when I get a chance. And the weather is so nice today that we're just gonna go. But yeah, that's the plans for the rest of the night. These are so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> yes. so it is the next day i didn't do the best job of filming the actual process but you guys i feel like you guys have seen me screen print like a thousand times by now that i'm like i'm not gonna bore you with all the details of how i screen print so it is now the next day and i was able to do it all in one day because it was only two layers so yesterday i actually brought some back to fold up just to like see how it would look and these are some misprints as you can see it's like the ink just didn't go there and I think that might be true somewhere else. I think for this one, this is the only misprint area, but that's a pretty big <laughs> misprint. So yeah, but I wanted to fold them just to see how they look, but I'm gonna go and get a bunch of them right now because basically for our final project, we are doing a print trade or something like that. So I have to have enough for the entire class. Also, I made a bunch extra just for myself and also for you guys, cause I wanted to sell a couple of them. I think I'm gonna actually wait until I go home to sell them, so I'm just going to have a bunch of stock and then I will start selling them on home because like shipping and stuff I can't really figure that out right now while I'm at school and I'm literally leaving in like two weeks I'm trying to vlog right now so I'm gonna go and pick some up and then I'm gonna show you them like closer up in detail so you can actually see them but I'm excited I'm pretty happy with how they came out I feel like I was really tired yesterday I don't know if that came across in the vlog screen print days are very like physically demanding so I was just like sleepy all around oh I got those H&M shirts let me show you they're really not that exciting it's just like tiny black and white shirt they're very cropped but i love these they're like six dollars at h&m a good basic just saying but anyway let's go ahead and head to studio so i can show you guys how these came out also i think i need to trim a couple of them i'm not sure but um let's just go and look at them <laughs> it's warm yet again it's like 84 degrees which is exciting so i have little jean shorts on i'm very excited about summer summer's like easily my favorite season so i'm very happy about that i'm trying to think how i should take the prints back because they're really big they're like 18 by 24 i'm thinking i might have to use my old portfolio bag because we also have to clean out the studio pretty soon so i feel like maybe that makes sense maybe i should i hate carrying this portfolio bag oh my god oh my god it's literally so heavy i haven't opened this thing since last year when i moved in this year i 
is dusty, oh my god. I just left it the way it is because there was no reason for me to open it, but we can go through it together. So I haven't gone through this bag in a year. I'm gonna need this bag when I move out anyway. So I guess I might as well start now. This is some tape left on it from moving. Oh my God, it's like so dusty. This is, this cannot be good for me. Reason one why it's so heavy is we have this board. I've had since high school. And I'll probably just donate when I move out because I can just buy a new one. Also, I don't really even use it anymore. We have some old, very old um, assignments. I don't know if anyone remembers this. This is from, oh my god, this is from last year. I'm literally, my nose is unhappy. We have some tracing paper. There's only like four sheets of this left. Probably more than four actually. Assignments, I don't even want anymore, so I'm just gonna throw these right out. Goodbye, foot drawing. We have torso drawing. Don't need this either. Honestly, I think I could just throw all of these away. I don't even really want to look at them. These also give me major COVID vibes because I drew all of these pretty much like during the COVID lockdown. And there's no reason for me to keep any of these to be honest, because I haven't thought about them for more than a year. So we're throwing all of these away. Very satisfying because, you know, I get to clean things out of my room. Um, so yeah, goodbye. Anyway, that's overall cleaned out. It's just, it's just so dusty, but I think it's good to go. So yeah, let's go get my prints. Yay, <laughs> finally. So I'm just walking over. It was so hot, I had to get a Starbucks on my way there because I was going to die probably. Not actually, but welcome to studio. So we're gonna clean out our drawer. This is my drawer and it has so many of these. It's so heavy, but as you can see, I'm just trying to decide which ones are misprints, which ones are perfect prints, which ones are in between. And we're just gonna get that all figured out. And they're so cute. I'm just so happy. Ah. I love how these came out and I cannot stop staring at them because I think they're so beautiful, but we're just gonna cut some of these. And as you can see, there's two actual different colors. There's like a pink one and a red one. We're gonna take these back to my room so we can fold some of them up. And I'm so excited to see how they look finished. My shoulder is dead. Not only did I bring back my prints, but I brought back like everything in my drawer because it's moving out time soon. So I had to get all my stuff. Oh my God, I straight up feel like this is like 60 pounds of paper. I don't know. Oh my God, please get on my chair. <laughs> These are my prints. This top sheet is a newsprint, so it's not even like the actual print, it's just to protect it. But I'm laying them all out on the ground. These are all of the other prints I did this year. Ugh. And then we have some smaller prints, luckily, because my arm's about to break off. Let me show you the prints we have. Oh, my arm feels like jelly. Okay, we are sitting on the ground. These are some of the ones I have, and then those are the other prints, obviously, but going through these, I kept a newsprint on the top to protect them as much as I could, but these are the perfect prints that I have. As you can see, there's not that many, and I have two colorways. I have some pink ones, and I have some reddish ones, so if you wanna see the difference in color, that's the difference. And then these are the perfect prints of the red ones. Perfect is used semi-loosely just because they are hand screen prints, so they're as perfect as they can get. These are the misprints down here, so those will definitely have to be sold, but I decided that instead of selling them at school i'm actually gonna wait until i think june 10th will be an appropriate day so that's what i'm gonna say is my shop update day as of right now i'm gonna put these prints and those prints and all of the other prints i have and fish mouse stickers and all of that stuff on my site so that's the plan but here they all are i think they look really cute and I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I'm folding these up because as you can see, this is a pretty sizable piece of paper and they fold up to look like this, which is really cute. This is obviously the red colorway. I haven't done one of these yet, but I've done the pink ones. So I'm gonna do my best to clear off my desk. I kind of figured out a system of how to do it. It's not the best, but I'm working with what I have here. I don't have a giant light table. So, oh, also, did I ever show you guys my fish mount iPad? I put a bunch of fish mount stickers on my iPad because I love him, so yeah. But those will also be my shop update. I'm not really here to advertise my shop update right now, but let's go ahead and just fold this up. I'm excited. 
Okay, so I have a couple of these just hanging out over here. <laughs> I want to show you guys how I'm doing this. I am keeping a bunch of them for my print trade, if you guys don't know about. Basically, what we're doing at the end of the semester for my class is that we are making like a portfolio. So like I have to give a lot of these away, which is fine, but it's just part of the assignment. So I don't have as many as I've made, but I think I printed probably like a hundred of these. I'm not even gonna lie because I did two batches of two different colors, but I am specifically folding this one because as you can see, it is messed up on the edges here. It's very important to me that my prints look good and I already put in so much effort. So, you know, for a print like this, for example, it would look much better in this format than it would like flat like this. Also, to be honest, when it's in this form, it doesn't make the most sense because like this side is all this way and that side is that way. So these were made to be folded. First thing I'm gonna use is my light box. This is a comedically small light box for this project, but it's all I have. As you can see, it turns on and off. This light box I've had since I was in high school and it's still going strong with me, but I'm gonna turn it on. First step is to fold this in half. The reason I need the light box is because these are not perfectly printed with like perfectly matching margins, right? Because like, I'm not a computer. I don't have that um, ability. So I have to make sure that the images line up and then I will cut off the excess later. So basically I'm looking through the light and I'm matching up the corners. So I just kind of do it gently like this and then and you can kind of tell if it's good or not judging by the margins up here because you know it should be pretty even on both sides and it looks like it is so you just kind of run this along the edge and then this is just like how you commonly fold zines in case you don't particularly know how to do that but i have my mini cutting mat i'm using a tiny one just because it's easier for me and we're going to cut along the middle here just to about like these two points there. As you can see, it's already starting to take form. So basically what you do is you separate it here. And then if I push down, you just like crease it the way that it's naturally creasing. So you do it like that. It's starting to fold already. And then the last sheet is just a little tricky because you have to fold it over like this, but you can definitely make it work. And crease the spine. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, there's just some excess, but like it's, well, it's a book. So I'm just going to cut off the excess. Let's get our tiny little guy back. Ta-da, <laughs> one side done. And then the last part is just the bottom edge here, which I just kind of eyeball usually. And it looks so cute. Like I literally love it. Oh my God. Yes, I am happy. So as you can see, this one is not a perfect print. So I would be selling things like this as a misprint, but I think it came out really, really cute. I literally love it. This is the red one. I personally like the pink one more, but you know, whatever floats your boat. I think they look really really cute and i'm really happy with it i love them and i can't wait to release these in my shop just because i am so proud of this like this took me so much time and effort and i just love how they came out so i am very happy here are some of the details as you can see on the pink one there's a lot of little dots and i love how that came out yes 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 and I had to draw all of this and then screen print it, which is just like so much effort, but OMG, we did it. It looks so cute, I'm so happy. Ah. I'm really sweaty because it's really hot today, but I really love these. I think they look so good. I'm standing up celebrating because I'm like, yes, these are the cutest things that I have ever made. I feel like this was a very good ending to my senior year at RISD. Isn't that crazy that like I'm literally graduating? This was my last assignment. Like I'm, I'm done. So yeah, check these out in my shop when they come out June 10th, I think save the date i think that's everything so i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out and supporting me thank you to everyone who's been ordering from my shop lately i really appreciate it if you want to sign up for my newsletter when you check out on my website you can check the little box for it and then you'll get a notice when i do restock but ah, i am excited 
Hello everyone, it has been a couple of days. I'm currently getting ready for class, but I wanna show you guys, because first of all, I have some, I've been mailing out a lot of letters. These are the orders that I've gotten this weekend. And then I ship out all of my Etsy and online orders on Monday when the mailroom reopens. But like, look how cute this envelope is. Oh my God, I think that's like the cutest one I've ever done. But we have a couple more to pack this morning. I'm getting sidetracked. I wanted to show you that I folded them and it's really cute. Like I'm really happy with how it turned out. The folding process is a little bit difficult just because the whole thing is like pretty large, but like I think it came out really good. I packaged a few of them because I think I might sell these on my Etsy as well if you want to read the full story there. Yeah, I think they came out really good. I have to go to class. So we have some meetings today. Also, I have a few more that I need to pack before pull everything up on my laptop and we're gonna pack it and then get to class. I'm already running late, but like senioritis is real and I no longer care about running late. So we're gonna go at our own pace. Also, while waiting for my website to load, fit today. I wanted to wear my Nike Pros under these shorts because first of all, I think it's like a cute look. But second of all, um, these shorts are so short that I was like, I need a little, a little something. So Squarespace is the website that I prefer for domestic orders because there's like basically no fees, which means that I get all of the money for my orders on like Etsy. So I'm trying to move off of Etsy, but I think some people don't quite understand that. That's okay. So I'm gonna pack an order for Trish. This has been my bin of stock that I'm trying to get rid of before I move out. So Trish ordered the big hammy stickers, the four piece one. So I actually already have those packaged out from the sale. These are the whale sharks that I had from the shop, three in them, but she ordered 10 of them. I'm gonna slip in an extra seven. So my business card is already included in this. And then also add a Sanrio sticker. Someone at my shop actually asked specifically for Kiromi stickers, which I thought were so cute. So I gave them three. We have one for Samantha. So I'm pulling out my little drawer because Samantha ordered a big hammy pack, which has a fish mouth and a puppy. Also five whale shark stickers. So one, two, three, four, and five. And a blue flower cap flame sticker. Of course, a thank you sticker goes in there. So packing my bag to go to class. We got all these envelopes that go in there. We have my assignment I was working on and then that's pretty much it. We gotta get my wallet, uh, laptop. Yes. <laughs> like literally look how cute this envelope is. Cutest packaging I've ever done. Oh my God. So it is mail delivery time and this is always fun. I just kind of drop these off in a box and they're good to go. But I'm going to go to a boba shop with my friend because we basically didn't have class. It was really fast. It was like five minutes. So we got some chicken, some French fries, and we're gonna do some work. And I'm gonna finish this other final that I was showing you guys. So this is what it ended up looking like. And I think it came out pretty cute. So I have all four of my illustrations and I am done with this final, woo. Just did some work, some studying with my friend at a local boba shop and now I'm walking back to my room. Class today was literally only like 10 minutes. It was just like a finals check-in thing and I finished my finals. So we are all set and on a good pace. So I'm gonna go back to my room. I think I'm gonna do some editing. Yes, because I just finished my other final basically and that's not due for another week. So we are super ahead. So I am very, very happy. I'm back. I changed my shirt. It got cold, but I'm gonna do some editing tonight. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, not much interesting things happened this morning. I got these done though, so that's fun. I think I will cut them up more another day because I'm trying to catch up on all my other finals and my work before it starts to consume me. So yeah, but this project came out pretty well. I'm pretty happy about it. So yeah, um, these will probably be for sale on my Etsy and personal shop. I wanna preface again that if you're a domestic shopper, please use my personal site because the prices are also lower. I keep my Etsy open for um, EU and UK shoppers because I know like there's more complications with that. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay hydrated, take a nap. I will see you when I see you. Bye.